He's scheduled for a one fall. And he'll be for the Knockout Championship. Introducing first from Austin, Texas, Jordan Grace. While Taya Valkyrie has spent time trying to manipulate her way to attending the championship, Jordan Grace, the powerhouse from Austin, Texas, has been all business. Fully focused on the task at hand, becoming Knockout's champion for the first time in her career. Knockouts champion longer than anyone in the history of Impact Wrestling. Yep. She's been champion longer than anyone in the modern era. Anyone in all of wrestling today, in any company you want to choose, no one has held a title longer than Taya Valkyrie. Yeah, every day is a new world record. When you, every second, right? Yes, sir. Say what you want about her antics. Say what you want about Johnny Bravo, the stuffed dog. Taya Valkyrie can go inside the ring, and this match might end with a road to Valhalla. Big fight feel in Mexico for the Knockouts Championship. Taya Valkyrie spent, like I said, before this match trying to Make arrangements. Yeah. Trying to align herself with anybody, and everybody said, thanks for coming. She still has Bravo, she still has a chance. And Taya Valkyrie. She's looking to end this early. She's had Jordan Grace's number, hasn't she? She certainly has. Jordan Grace has had a few opportunities at the Knockouts Championship. I would actually say she's had every Knockouts number. When you've been champion for over a year, I think you can make that claim. Taya Valkyrie off the ropes and bam! Connects with Jordan Grace. Not a, uh, a homecoming of sorts for Taya Valkyrie, but spent most of her career down here in Mexico in AAA. There's Johnny Bravo going to work. We expected that one, folks. Using the dog's leash, I believe, Josh. Just whatever it takes to keep the championship around the waist of his meal ticket, Taya Valkyrie. Bam! Oh. Taya continues to remain in control here. Two Taya knees Valkyrie. right to the face, Josh. We've taken our final commercial break, folks. We're with you for the duration of this championship match. And right on cue, Johnny Bravo. He is choking the wow. life out of Jordan Grace. I mean, it's almost like she doesn't have a chance now. Well, she is in there with longest reigning knockouts champion of all time, so. Yeah, but you have Bowling Alley Bravo out there. Well, if you're going to diminish him, then, then how is he effective? Now, Maybe you need time, a new nickname for him. Every time the referee turns his attention towards what's happening in the ring, Bravo is right. What does that there sound like? To pounce. Good strategy. And perhaps the reason why Taya Valkyrie is still oh, knockouts champion. First. Jordan Grace showing signs of life. You're looking for a German suplex. God, she dropped her right on that shoulder. Yeah, landed. Taya smartly rolling out. Taya landed high on her shoulder. Jordan Grace off the ropes now. And Grace with a dive to God, the outside. She just obliterated her with that dive. Jordan Grace is a heavy hitter, folks. With the Knockouts Championship on the line. Jordan knows that she has to get this done inside the ring. Watch out for Bravo on the outside. Look at Bravo again. Just shoves her off the top rope. Man, Brandon Toll is not doing a great job in this match. Taya Valkyrie doesn't go for a cover here. Instead, trying to wear down Jordan Grace even further. Shoulders are down. He should be counting. 
He's having an off night, isn't he? Yeah, you would say so. Bravo has just thrown him completely off his game. Ty is an intimidator. Ty Valkyrie has Jordan Grace now on the second rope. Going for the choke, and here comes Bravo again. Man, this game plan is working well. Yeah, distract the referee, argue with the referee, let Bravo go to work. Ooh. And look, I, while, while we're dis disgusted with the actions of Bravo, I mean, they're, they're calling a perfect game, right? They really are. I mean, in the era where teams in baseball are using technology to call signals, why not? Oh! Tough kick there right to the spine by Taya. You saw Taya weather the storm of Jordan Grace. That's the thing about Jordan Grace. Once she gets going, she's so hard to stop, and Taya was able to cut her down. Yep. Yeah, you got to cut that momentum off. Knockouts championship on the line here tonight. Ooh. Taya Valkyrie catches Jordan Grace. Knee to the jaw. Valkyrie off the ropes. Jordan counters. Big, big spine buster there. Remember a few weeks ago here on Impact Wrestling when Taya interrupted the Impact Wrestling world champion, Tessa Blanchard. People still buzzing about that, Josh. Quite the interaction. It's a whole new world here, folks. Jordan Grace up slightly before the champion. Trading forearms back and forth here. Oof. Oof. Jordan Grace comes back. I wouldn't want to throw hands with Jordan Grace. No, she's a heavy hitter, Josh. Whoop, Taya ducks the line, caught her on the back. Jordan Grace now. Trying setting to her up. Yep, trying to rely on her power. Setting up for the Grace driver, the signature maneuver of Jordan Grace. Three quick, nope. Taya slips out the back, avoids disaster. Misdirection. Got her! Wow, she nailed it! Shoulders down, stacked up high, and a kick out, and a huge mistake down. Jordan Grace should not be counting along with the referee, right? No, absolutely Both not. Both hands locked in on the legs. She's got a lot of confidence, though. That move has helped her in many matches. buying herself some time out on the apron. Ooh. Championship on the line. A lot of bad blood here, Josh. Jordan looking for a pile driver on the apron. Taya avoids, and there's a knee by Taya. Valkyrie, shot to the back, two. Three. Taya's really been working on the spine, and now Bravo with those steel steps. And he adjusted those here, and Taya Valkyrie looking for a oh, oh, power bomb. Yes. Spine into the stairs here at ringside. Yes. Jordan Grace may be out. Now Taya, she get back in the ring, win by count out. Well, that's her that's what a smart champion would do. She's back in, and the referee will begin his counts. And Taya Valkyrie will head back to the West Coast. Referee's letting him play, isn't he? He really is. Now to a count of four. Halfway to ten, halfway for Taya to retain her championship. You see the arm on the apron at seven. Now he's at eight. She's going to beat the count. Taya knew it and stomped on the hand of Jordan Grace. Economical move that pays dividends. I think a move like that later in this match. I mean, Grace can't really the Grace Driver, her hands are involved in that signature maneuver. Not if all your fingers are broken. You've really sung the praises of Ty Valkyrie as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Champion. I mean, you can't argue with success, Josh. It's how many days is it right now? 490? I mean, we stopped counting days, we're counting years now. I guess so. Road to Valhalla on the stage, it's over. Oh, God. Good night. Well, she can't pin her there, can she? Nope, but she can go back into the ring, win by count out, and that'll be it. 
Taya Valkyrie took Jordan Grace as far away from the ring as possible. Delivered the road to Valhalla. She's gonna head back to the ring. Ref's gonna count to 10 and we're gonna be out of here. Referee begins his count. Jordan Grace is miles away. Desperation. Trying to make it down that ramp, get back in the ring before a 10 count. Now at five. She's closer. She's on her feet at six. He's at seven. She's back down. Now at eight. Finger and slides in at nine and beats the count. There's the cover by Taya Valkyrie and Jordan Grace. Grab the bottom rope. Somehow, some way, Jordan Grace beat the count. Taya pulls her away from the ropes. Another cover and a bridge out at two. Taya starting to show a little bit of frustration now. The road to Valhalla on the stage, not enough to keep Jordan Grace out of the ring. So does the champion start to doubt herself at this point, Dom? I mean, Taya's so confident, but she's not used to people kicking out of her stuff. Jordan Grace grabbed the faux fur of the boot and pulled her off the ropes. Does Jordan Grace have anything left in the tank? We've seen this in the past. Muscle buster out of the corner. Wow, she's look got at this. She's got it all the way oh. up. Jordan Grace off the muscle buster. Goes to the cover. Shoulders down. New champion and a kick out in two. A move like that down the muscle buster when you have the legs and you fall back. It's the, it's the spine and the small of the back. Oh, it absolutely first. is. Wow. And that sets up the Grace driver. It does. She might be going for it here. Taya Valkyrie. Trying to counter, had a wide base. Taya spins free. Got her! Cross arm breaker by the champion. Cross arm breaker here by Taya Valkyrie. Jordan Grace has to watch her shoulders on the canvas and cannot tap or pass out. Trying to power out. Yeah, she's powering Turn her back the into a pin. Over. And Taya right back. In control. Grace is, she's turned outside down, but that might hyperextend the shoulder even further. Yep. Jordan wow, Grace. great roll through. Look at that into a cross face. Cross face here by the challenger, and the champ's in trouble. Taya Valkyrie's in trouble. For the first time in this match, the champion chips in jeopardy. Taya Valkyrie, she's tall. Can she get closer? Can Bravo grab her hand? Drag her underneath the bottom rope. Well, Bravo has been very valuable so far to tie it. He just saved the championship. You've seen it over and over again. Johnny Bravo just saved the championship for Taya Valkyrie. Jordan Grace, not frustrated, goes to work. Doesn't go for a cover. Quickly opts to go for the Grace driver. She yeah, got her that. shoulders down. New champion here in Mexico City. And Bravo pulled the referee out of the ring. By hook or by crook. Maybe it's time for Bravo to be sent to the back. I'm not sure why Toll's wasted so much. Just kick him out of here. He physically got involved. Uh oh. And Jordan Grace, she's going to take care of Johnny Bravo. Taking matters into her own hands. Taya Valkyrie with a spear. To in her insurance policy. School girl, shoulders down, got her. New champion and rolled all the way through. Tie her back up. Big time close on by the challenger. Bravo's down. Now is the opportunity. Now is her chance. With no one left to save the championship for Taya Valkyrie. She's got to go. Time to do it. Bravo, literally putting his life on the line, laying on Taya Valkyrie to retain the championship. Jordan Grace! Oh. 
takes out both of them. Tie of Valkyrie up. Here we go. Grace Driver, shoulders down, and we have a new champion. Jordan Gray! The record-breaking Knockouts Championship reign of Taya Valkyrie has come to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, on this night in Mexico City, Mexico, the dreams of Jordan Grace have come true. She is Knockouts Champion. Champions reserve the right to come out second, but here they're trying to switch things up, change the momentum. It's changing game plan. They have the, they have the, whatever, they have the choice. If they want to come out first right. or second tonight, they said, we're coming out first, we're setting the tempo, and now you follow us, follow our swag, follow fire and flavor. That's right now the energy in the ring belongs to the Knockouts Tag Team Champions. They're going to try to keep it going against their challengers who haven't been teaming nearly as long, Dilo, and we'll get into that as the match rolls on. No, it, that's definitely the advantage of Fire and Flavor. They have been teaming a lot longer. Introducing the challengers first from Austin, Texas, Jordan Grace. So this past Thursday on Impact on Access TV, we saw Rachel Ellering come to the aid of Jordan Grace and tell the world that this match is happening. And now Rachel makes her debut. Tag team partner from St. Paul, Minnesota, Rachel Ellering. All right, D'Lo Brown, you and I have talked at length about what it means to come out of those great Minnesota wrestling pedigree places. And is there a, wait, what's, what's going on here? Oh, boy. <laughs> and they are accompanied to the ring by Evidently, even though retired, Jazz qualifies and has obtained a manager's license and is going to second Ellering and Grace to the ring. What a great bonus to have in your corner in a World Tag Team title match. That is like having another person there giving you advice when you need it the most. It's great, and boxing fans will recognize what guys like Angelo Dundee and Eddie Futch and these type of players, Freddie Roach, mean to have in a corner Jazz may be embarking on a great career as a wrestling manager. Great managers can mean the difference. It's the little things, it's the little things you put together turn into two big things called the knockout tag team titles. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's interesting to see what Impact Management has done. They, they've made it easier for people to obtain these type of licenses and clearances because they understand how important rebellion truly is. Yeah, this is a day where everyone is going to put out their best. And that's why I think, you know, Ellering and Grace uh, asked Jazz to be here because they went on to put on their best showing. Here we go from St. Paul, Minnesota. Rachel Ellering about to tie up with Tasha Steele. Second generation superstar, and she is here to prove she belongs right there showing some power. Of course, Rachel Ellering opted to cut her teeth in Japan with stardom. And you can see it here with the cover. You know, a lot of people would stay in the Minnesota area. It's famous for the AWA and Vern Gagne and Billy Robinson and Brad Rangans and Eddie Sharkey and on and on. But Rachel went a different direction. And uh, yeah, Rachel went the long route. She went overseas. And here, Rachel's showing a little swag here, trying to get in the heads of Fire and Flavor. Five years of pro, Rachel Ellering there. Full arm dragon twist on Kiera Hogan. You could see Rachel out muscling 
Kira. And keeping that wrist control right there, locking the arm in, doing what she needs to do to keep that power going and showing she's a dominant force. You know, Dilo, as I watch Rachel, just the, the, the size and power difference, I'm reminded of how Terry Gordy shifted things for the Freebird because no one was able to outmuscle him. Here's your picture. I mean, look at right there. Rachel Elring just stood straight up and picked Kira Hogan up off the mat. Now, how important is that in a tag team where Jordan Grace is probably used to being the powerful one? Right now, there's a compliment to it in the form of Rachel Ellering. And that's got to be, oh, just, just threw her straight down. Cover, chest press. This, this is this is a powerful and athletic tag team, Grace and Ellering, at least here in the start. I want to go to your point. Grace has got to love the fact that she can rely on a partner who is strong, if not just as strong as she is. So now she knows what to expect from her tag team partner. Distant early warning isn't only a track on Grace under pressure, it's an actual fact as we <laughs> see it on display here. And you know, I, I talked with, 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 with Jordan and, and, and Rachel earlier this morning here again, once again on celebration, and they were very confident. They believed, oh, nice smart. move here, nice that smart is a tag set move. play by Fire and Flava. They aren't breaking the rules, they have till five. It's such a brilliant play out of the Ooh. book. And, and look at what it's done. A momentum shift. Cover. You know, in, in football, they talk about the field tilting, right? But yes. In, in wrestling and combat sports, the ring tilts, and the momentum now favors the tag champs. And, and that's a bad place to be for Jordan Grace because that's exactly where Fire and Flavor want to be, in control and manhandling somebody. But right now, they're bailing out. Yeah, Double well, super kick. It's Jordan's low center of gravity there that is going to allow her to at least for the moment deny the double suplex. But the kick stunned her. Shoulders down. And Jordan able to get the right shoulder off the mat. You know, I want to get uh, I want to get Fire and Flavor on my show on Impact Plus behind the curtain. I think we could break down a few of their matches and show the world just how great of a tag team these two are. Have you watched my show? Of course, everyone. Watched. Okay, just 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 checking. Tasha Steele's rolling through for a little momentum there. Comes in with a modification on a running European uppercut. Oh, and we've seen this before. Fire and Flavor about to unload an arsenal Here in the comes corner. Kiera, she gets a full head of steam. Oh, that sliding kick. And you know why that's, imp that's impactful because Jordan's head is up against that bottom turnbuckle. Oh boy. Oh, and D'Lo, smart there. Jordan was able to get her shoulders off the mat and reach for her partner. But Kiera's smart with a double leg hook, making Jordan work here. Every one of these covers yes. is meant to take away energy away. This is not meant to, cover number two and cover number three are not meant to win. They're make you exert energy. Tag made by Tasha, holding on to the tag rope. Nicely done there. Oh, fundamentally sound are the Knockouts Tag Team Champions, Fire and Flame. Once again, isolating Jordan on their side of the ring, cutting the ring in half, and just keeping Jordan in enemy territory. Settling in again, it's not lost to me the fact that Mauro Ranallo will be out here for our main event for the first time. I get to work with this man. What does it mean about the magnitude of the main event that one of the greatest combat sports voices is a part of it tonight? It lets you know how big this match is when the heavy hitters want to come in, when the heavy hitters want to be part of Impact Wrestling. It lets you know the world is watching us and everyone wants to be here in Impact Wrestling. Uh, and look at these good quick tags. Oh! That was a misstep there, obviously. It took too long, and now Jordan oh. Grace is going to take advantage. Jordan needs to make a tag to Rachel Ellering. Can she climb? Can she climb over to her corner? Can she get over the last two or three feet? Rachel Ellering's got her arm out, extended, but Jordan is spent. There Jordan is hurting. An infectious exuberance about Rachel. The presence of Jazz makes this team lethal. Rachel Ellering is in. Kiera Hogan down, and the momentum is starting to pick up. And Rachel Ellering, oh, the second jumping back elbow the powerful lower base of rachel ellering has made for a great tandem with jordan grace and speaking of tandem tandem offense there rachel ellering clicking on all cylinders welcome to impact oh, that, see that jumping form in the corner look at that oh, oh right hand <laughs> oh. S-T-O, is it enough? Rachel Ellering, Minnesota, nice cover, not enough. Man, that was innovative 
offense that was off the set of the first rope, a jumping, spinning leg drop. That was impressive athleticism there. Yeah, you heard Rachel say to Jordan, you okay? Jordan nodded, they made eye contact, and then Rachel decided to tag Jordan in. That's smart and considerate. Well, it's making sure my partner's in the right frame of mind before I tag them in. We've seen in the past, a partner just go over and blindly tag someone who's still injured, still hurting. Uh oh Oh, my it's goodness! Two. Working well, Rhapsody in blue. Is it enough? Ref in position. Oh. That was actually great, great yep. right there by Tasha Steele, just pushing Rachel into the pile because she couldn't break up the pin any other way. The way Rachel fell, we gotta keep an eye on her knees. She may have suffered some type of injury, but again, as we know, when the match goes on, you don't feel it, but when you're back in the hotel room, you go, oh, gosh, why it, it, do I do this? Adrenaline, you said in the match before, it is the greatest drug ever. You don't feel anything. Here we go. Splitting Cut. angles are Grace and Ellering. Fire and Flava out of the way. The strength of Grace and Ellering on display, but oh. Fire and Flava nimble and agile. That's been the story here. And Fire and Flava up to the top, double up to the top, double come, double drop kick. Cover here, it's Jordan Legal with Kier. Two titles are not coming home just yet, folks. Not yet. And right now, Kier Hogan says, like, what do what I got to do? That was three. That was definitely three. Look at Jordan helping Rachel back into position. That little thing right there. Let's keep an eye on it. All right, we're going for the double suplex. But no! Again, no! Not twice. Not on Jordan Grace. There's still some power left in the tank. That's not some power. That's a whole hell of a lot of power. High octane Jordan Grace puts Tasha onto the apron, but Tasha with a shoulder to the gut. Takes care of Rachel Ellering as well. Tasha steals one half of the Knockouts Tag Team Champions for a reason. Oh, oh my, what the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know what I just saw. Oh I just saw, my God. I just saw Tasha Steele go over the top rope and just crash to the apron and the floor. And she caught Rachel with a cutter on the way down, but the action Oh, and Jordan Grace dies on the top of him. Kira's the only one left. Let's see what Kira Hogan has in mind to make her mark, her rebellion moment. And the hottest flame is going to the highest point. Here we go. Oh, and a crossbody taking it everybody. Kira Hogan back up onto her feet. She has to get them back into the ring, although I'm not so certain that Fire and Flame would mind a count out and they could just get on out of here. No, they would take the count out right now. What, are you kidding me? They don't care if there's a pin wall, pinfall or, or a count out. They just want the win. And right there, you see Jazz giving words of encouragement, not interfering, just giving words of encouragement. Hard forearm shot. We've seen Kiera with Joe. Oh. Not afraid to, to borrow a line from Mauro Ronaldo, renew hostility. Oh, well. Right now, if, if if Ellering can get the tag, she's gonna renew Here hostilities. Here we go, Rachel Ellering. She's been a spark plug. She's injected life into Jordan Grace's knockouts tag team title pursuit. Jordan oh. on the move. Tasha does not allow the momentum to continue. Rachel Ellering still has a waist lock on Kiara Hogan. Kiara into the ropes. They roll through their separation. Gets caught with a back elbow. Does Rachel Ellering? Oh, big super kick there from Kiara Hogan. And now Kiara is trying to set. She's trying to end this right now. Oh, big right hand. Rachel Ellering stays right in the middle of the ring. Good fundamentals here. Oh! Two, Two it's over. Here are your winners in new Knockouts Tag Team Champions, Jordan Grace and Rachel Ellering. The move caught me by surprise. It was unique and impactful, and the result has made history. Here tonight, we already have a brand new X Division Champion in Josh Alexander, and now we have new Knockouts Tag Team Champions, Jordan Grace and Rachel Ellery. What a way to make your debut on Rebellion, winning the Knockouts Tag Team titles. Ladies and gentlemen, this special match is set for one fall and will determine the inaugural Impact Wrestling Digital Media Champion. Introducing first, accompanied by Rachel Ellering from Austin, Texas, Jordan Grace. 
All right, digital media championship to be determined right now. From Columbus, Ohio, John Schuyler. You see John Schuyler right here. He's uh, looking really surly walking down the ring right now. And he wants to win this digital media championship more than anybody else. Trust me, he's told me this several times. Down for glory, just a few minutes away. But before we get there, consider this the appetizer. Accompanied to the ring by Caleb with a K, Medicine Brain. Incredibly dangerous since she returned here to Impact Wrestling. Imagine a world where Madison Brain is digital media champion. Well, you know, she wants to be the digital media champion desperately. From the Philippines, Fala Ba! Great opportunity for Fala Ba. What an engagement he has with the crowd. Yeah, he interacts very well with the crowd. The crowd loves Fala. Listen to him right now. The crowd is going wild for Fala Ba. So if you think that was something, wait till you hear this. Representing Decay, accompanied to the ring by Black Taurus, Crazy Steve. Few groups can capture a crowd like Decay. And you can hear the impact faithful welcoming Decay down to the ring, welcoming Crazy Steve. The tension builds. And the final participant from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green. D'Lo Brown. Have you ever seen a Raider like that? <laughs> Not a Raider that looked that good, I'll tell you right now. So we are fortunate yeah, to have Chelsea Green and look. This place is going wild for Chelsea Green right now. Chelsea Green doing her best. Josh Jacobs here as we are on the countdown to glory. How do you handicap this match here? Who has the advantage? Right now, I don't know. I can't say who's got a distinct advantage. I can definitely see Skyler looking around, surveying everyone. And everyone seems to be focused on that beautiful championship right now. Absolutely gorgeous championship as the bell sounds, and here we go. Right? See on your clock, a little over seven minutes away to bound for glory, but it looks like John oh. Skyler. <laughs> That's not the way Skyler envisioned this starting out. Skyler's night has started, as has ours here, of course. A huge card ahead of us. Skyler out to the floor. You know, I kind of like Fala in this spot right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's gonna take it's gonna take a lot to get him off his feet, and it's gonna take a lot to to keep him down for a three count. Hang on, there's a cover here. Tornado rules. The referee Brian Heaven will have to be on his game. Of course, he is. All the officials will be tonight. So much on the line, D'Lo Brown. Tag team titles on the line. Knockouts tag team Ooh. titles on the line. X Division champion will be crowned. And Jordan with a thudding clothesline right there now. Looks like she's gonna hit the rope for some momentum. Again. Oh, wow. Jordan with tremendous strength. The power of Jordan Grace is going to be tough to stop. Oh, corner combination, here it comes. Oh, gosh. That hurt all the way out here. Jordan is on a roll here. Vader bomb. Cover, Go, cover, two. No. Oh. Fala out. Jordan still commanding the middle of the ring. Needs to turn around. Oh. Oh, wow. Skyler from behind. And Jordan is was rocked there. You know, John Skyler, of course, had an opportunity. He knocked on the door of Impact Wrestling here about six years ago. Yes. It was a hard no. I think, if nothing else, John Skyler would love the validation of becoming digital media champion, turning a denial into an opportunity. 
Yeah, it was legit hard pass six years ago, and yeah, you're right. Skyler wants to prove impact officials were wrong that night by proving how right they are tonight. Snuck there by Crazy Steve. Oh. Twisting the neck of Chelsea Green. Chelsea sitting back in the corner, writhing in pain right now. Here I am, Madison oh, Rain. Oh, you see right there, there Caleb and Caleb. Caleb. That is just, that is everything that Madison and Caleb bring to this match. They gave Madison that opportunity, that, that opening well, of the door. Well, look at that, went for the tilt to well, oh, turned it into a DDT. Wow, nice body control there by Madison sure. Rain. Something out of nothing, and she knows she's good. Clothesline grabbing the waist, nice redirection off the rope. Oh. The referee's back, good kick by Chelsea. Now Chelsea on the move. Oh, curb stop! Put her on a shoulder blade. Cover here, two. Madison may be out, she oh. didn't kick out, but man, oh man, did she get rocked. Yeah, but Jordan definitely had to make that save because mm -hmm. it looked like Madison was down for three count. Madison may have busted her nose open and while that goes on. Chelsea and Jordan, hard right, palm strike. Uh oh. This is the, Jordan set up for the muscle buster. You can see it here. What is a little different? Legs, crossing the legs with the chest is exposed. And here is Madison Rain. The chop stunned Jordan. Jordan swats Madison away. Oh. Dispatches Chelsea. Shoulders down. The power of Jordan Grace. No. Four minutes to go, D. Yeah, I mean, Bounce Glory is right around the corner here. And you can see the frustration building on Jordan Grace's face. It's like, what do I got to do? Well, what you got to do is put everybody in the corner. Looks like she's going to unload on all three of them. Uh-oh. That's crazy Steve having uh Oh, he's oh, going gosh. the upside down, upside down. Look at that, poor Madison caught in the middle. Uh-oh, what's Jordan doing? Oh. Not a second, that only is uh -oh. one thing. Here comes Fowler, the train's about to pull out of the station. Madison Rain caught between the mounds of humanity. Fala Ba using his strength on John Skyler. Skyler holds on to the ropes, forces Ba in, Ba out to the floor. That's a heavy ball there. Steve with the line. Keep Skyler in place. What does crazy Steve have in mind here? Digital media title uh -oh. on the line. Superplex. Just under no. three minutes away from bound for glory. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Got a cover there. All right, is this enough? Skyler! Chelsea Drew with the yeah. save there. Yeah, Crazy Steve is definitely hurt from that. Would Crazy Steve be the digital media champion if it weren't for Chelsea right it, there? It, I believe he would have been. And Skyler oh. just viciously hit Chelsea's behind like that. Locks the clothesline, but look at Jordan so smart. Use the momentum. Here we go. Race driver. Here we go. moment that Jordan Grace will remember forever. The inaugural digital media champion. Oh my goodness, this must be a great, great feeling for Jordan Grace.